of the day, Manana si Juus, Sainama Asi, for everyone for being here. Uh, it's my honor and privilege to be able to uh, take the time to recognize all of your endeavors and support. So we have many sponsors for the Coastal Cleanup. It's a wonderful event that's been occurring for 24 annual, I mean, uh, 24 years. So it's, uh, it's wonderful to see our community coming together. We know it takes a lot of hard work. It takes uh, being out there, being in the sun, um, being outside and putting in a lot of effort. I've done cleanups myself. I know it can get a little hairy out there. Uh, there's all kinds of things that end up on the ground and in our environment. So just really thank you all for all of that effort. And I wanna thank our sponsors. The sponsors are part of what make it a reality. They provided refreshments, they provided um, volunteers uh, by committing themselves and water, just all of those necessary things to, to keep us uh, hydrated and able to keep on going out there. So we're very appreciative to all of the sponsors. I'm here with uh, Miss Marilyn Guerrero. She's gonna be helping me hand out the certificates and of course, we owe a lot to her with the Bureau of Statistics and Plans for making this all happen as well. So just to point out some of the particulars, this last coastal cleanup occurred on September 21st. It occurred on 24 beaches across the island, and Marilyn was just sharing with me some just amazing numbers, that there were over 4,000 volunteers, and when she told me how much trash everybody had collected, I had to ask her to repeat it. And then I started thinking, well, gee, uh, with that much weight being lifted off of our beaches, it almost feels like the island should be responding by uh, shifting itself. Because she was mentioning that over 92,000 pounds of trash was picked up. So, we hope we get to a point where it doesn't ever have to be that amount that's being picked up. Uh, and that's something that we're definitely working on in trying to figure out how to get our community on board with taking pride in and caring about our environment that we share not only amongst ourselves, but we're part of the habitat that our, our wildlife and our vegetation that are important to us are trying to thrive in. So my understanding, and Marilyn can uh, validate it if I'm understanding it correctly, this was, um, well, it's the largest volunteer cleanup. Is it, is it um, annually the largest cleanup or was this year in particular the largest it's ever been? Okay, so annually. So that's a, a wonderful feat to be able to say that uh, every year they are the largest cleanup that happens on our island. And I mean, we all benefit from it. So with that, we'll go ahead uh, towards recognizing uh, those that are here today. And of course, noting that the success of the event depends on all of you and the thousands others that came out. It depends upon the assistance of the community. And uh, I just hope that our community recognizes what you're doing for the rest of us and that more and more of us continue to roll up our sleeves and, and get out there and uh, make a difference for the island. So what I'll do is I'll read the certificate of recognition in general, and then we'll go ahead and start uh, going through them by name or entity. So here, for our certificates, we have uh, all of the senators that are part of the certificate or set of certificates. It is a certificate of recognition, and then it will say who it's presented to and recognize them as a sponsor of the annual Guam International Coastal Cleanup. Now it's seen here 25th. Okay, so my notes were uh, 
incorrect by saying 24th, but the 25th, which is even more commendable, of course, right? Which was held on September 21st, 2019, and to commend you for your assistance and support. The Committee on Rules of e Mena 35 na Legislatura Guahan herein directs that this official expression of its recognition and commendations be forthwith sent on behalf of e Legislatura Guahan and the people of Guam, signed and sealed in the city of Hagatnya, Guam. And then it's been signed by our speaker, our chair of our Committee on Rules, which is uh, Senator Bisco Lee, our Legislative Secretary, Senator Amanda Shelton, and then myself as the sponsor. So with this, uh, the first of the certificates shall be for the Tumon Bay United Service Organization, USO. Is there a representative here? Okay, but we do want to recognize them uh, and thank them for their participation. Surely there's somebody here uh, if we recognize the United States Navy. So if we can have a representative come up. <laughs> to receive it. Next, we are recognizing Anderson United Service. Oops, wait, that's the same one. Next, we are recognizing Granite Obayashi. We are recognizing the United States Air Force. <laughs> Gumamon, if there is a representative from Gumamon. <laughs> now tell me, did somebody come out in the mascot uh, Outfit. Yes, they did, they did. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. That's good to hear. I think more mascots should be participating. We have Clifford the Red Dog at PBS, so maybe we can talk him into it next time. <laughs> right? Oh, and there's Coco with GVB, right? Did Coco show? but we can invite next time. Okay, also, uh, if there's a representative, we want to recognize the United States Coast Guard Auxiliary. Also, we have uh, recognition for Coast 360 Federal Credit Union. We would next like to recognize Naval Facilities Engineering Command, NAVFAC Marianas. We also would like to recognize Guam Association of Realtors.
We would like to recognize TriStar Terminal Guam, Inc. We'd next like to recognize Micronesian Divers Association. <laughs> Marilyn was just pointing out that they actually go in the water and clean that out. Uh, any estimation as to how much you were able to gather from that part of the effort? Does anybody know? Did you say 600 pounds? Wow, that's quite a bit. Uh, so sign them uh, for that. Guahan Waste Control Inc. DBA uh, does business as Mr. Rubbishman if there's a representative here, but we want to thank them. We'd next like to present, excuse me, and recognize Lagu Sanitation. Next, for recognition, we have Underwater World Sea Grill Restaurant. Next, we'd like to recognize HM2 Cody Brinkley. We'd like to recognize HM1, Paul Melkor. We'd like to recognize LTJG Megan Morrison. We'd next like to recognize MC2 Kelsey Hockenberger. Next for recognition, we have U.S. Navy, Naval Munitions Command, East Asia Division, NMCEAD, Unit Guam.
We'd also like to recognize AO1AW Eddie A. Tyson. I was worried about that. I was like, please don't let it be him that he has to come by. We made him sit down first and then called him right back up. <laughs> but here's your shoes, Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. And then I guess we'll just use them. Are they just all Okay, and so for some of these that we're going to go through, we just want to provide recognition, even though there might not be a representative here. But we do have a certificate of recognition for Vincent Calvo. Oh, there he is. So I guess we'll do another photo. Thank you. So just be Next, we have a certificate for Justin Brown. We also have a certificate for Peggy Arulo. And we'll go through the uh, last of their certificates. I'm, I believe there might be a few others uh, because it was such a massive cleanup. Uh, there are a few other certificates that certainly not all 4,000 would have been able to fit in this uh, public hearing room. But uh, we'll go ahead and, and recognize the others if they weren't able to attend. We'll just make sure. Okay, so it does appear uh, we had broken this up into two groups to try to deal with such a, a large set of uh, very important volunteers. Um, so that will be the next set. But what I would like to do is call everybody up for a group photo.